Hi, I'm Lily Cole, welcome to Matches Fashion. Today I'm going to be showing you something I've been doing a lot during lockdown, which is making nut milk. If, like me, you like to avoid drinking dairy milk, but that means that you're going into a Tetra Pak hell of loads of Tetra Pak packaging, one way to avoid that um, and to save money is to make your own nut milk. Um, and it turns out it's actually quite simple. So here is a bowl of hazelnuts that has been soaking in water and they need to soak for at least 12 hours. So the best thing to do is pour some water before you go to bed, leave it, and then in the morning you can make your nut milk. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna pour that water out, so the kind of dirty water. My hands are clean, don't worry. And replace it with fresh water. And you can use filtered water or tap water as is your preference. Um, and you want about four or five parts water to one part nuts, roughly speaking. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to blend these together. So I have my blender. Do you want to maybe come and do a, a close-up shot <laughs> of the nuts being blended? Now this is not four to five parts water yet, but I will dilute it afterwards. <laughs> maybe don't fill it that full. Um, Put it in. Do you guys know how to turn a blender on? Shall I show you how I turn a blender on? I turn a blender on like this. Close up the blender. <laughs> so when your nuts and your water are blended, what you need, and this is the only thing you may not already have if you don't make nut milk, is a nut milk bag looks a little bit like a stocking. I've not tried it with stockings, maybe that would work. Um, if not, you can buy nut milk bags online very easily, very cheaply. Um, okay, so we pour our nuts solution, which is grounded nuts, into the water, into here. Take out my little thing. And then what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze this you're going to squeeze, look at that, how juicy that is. You're squeezing the nut milk out of the nuts. Oh, there's something really satisfying about that. <laughs> it's like a stress ball, but a nut bag ball. All right, now to turn this into final nut milk, we can add some more water because it wasn't very diluted to begin. It's up to you how diluted you want to make it. Um, you can choose if you want to add a splash of apple juice or a splash of maple syrup to sweeten it, just to take the kind of edge off. And a tiny, spring, very, very, very small sprinkle, not too big, otherwise it will obviously make it salty of salt that will help preserve it. And that, my friends, is it. Super simple, right? As a zero waste initiative, this leftover ground nuts can be made into the most delicious cakes. And I've been lo doing lots of baking. I recommend, for example, Nigella Lawson has a ground almond and chocolate cake online. Um, it's got eggs, otherwise it's vegan. Um, it's very delicious. So you can basically replace flour with your leftover nuts. I hope you have fun. Thanks for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.